Hi, good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Casey at Get Your Play On. Uh, I just wanted to start out this morning by a little good morning chant. It's Sunday morning. Um, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, all friends. Good morning to you. Um, we try again. Get you going again. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, all friends. Good morning to you. Give a crown or anything. Dance with it. Wake up. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, all friends. Good morning to you. Good morning. I hope you're a little bit awake now, shaking out all the morning jitters. This week, the theme is storybook, which is the crown. Um, there are different activity packets out there that are available for purchase on Get Your Play On Etsy page. They include activities such as bingo, word searches, I spy, and so much more. Make sure to check those out. Uh, you can enter to win every Friday on the Facebook page. You just have to look out for the post and make sure after this video, whenever, to check us out on Pinterest. Um, getyourplayon.com, Instagram, and also YouTube. We're there. Check us out. So for storybook theme week, I am going to read out of the Princess Storybook Collection, and I'm going to read a Cinderella story. Cinderella is my favorite princess. So Cinderella, a new mouse. Warm sunlight streamed through the windows of Cinderella's parlor as she and her mouse friends shared afternoon tea. Even though the food was delicious, Cinderella found it difficult to enjoy the tasty treats. She was too busy thinking about her friend Gabrielle, who would be visiting very soon. Gabrielle was the prince's cousin but she lived so far away that Cinderella didn't get to see her very often. They're having their treats. I hope you're having some yummy treats this morning. Just then, a royal page entered the parlor. Lady Gabrielle has arrived, he announced. Gabrielle swept into the room and ran to hug Cinderella. It's so good to see you, dear, she said, as the two friends chatted excitedly. Jack and Gus, Notice that Gabrielle had an unusual item with her. What's that, Jack said. He pointed eagerly to a fancy little house that Gabrielle had set on the floor. Gabrielle noticed the curious mice and explained right away. Let me introduce you to my beloved friend, Babette. Gabrielle opened the little door to the house and Babette walked onto her hand. Jack and Gus couldn't believe it. Babette was a mouse. I found little Babette lost in one of the manor bedrooms, Gabrielle said. After meeting your mouse friend Cinderella, I just knew I had to take her in. Jack and Gus waved to the new mouse, but Babette just stared at them. Would you like a crumpet, Babette? Cinderella asked. The mouse took a piece and ran back into Gabrielle's hand. Sh she should have said, thank you, Jack whispered to Gus. Rude, Gus agreed. Cinderella, dear, you simply must show me the castle garden, Gabrielle said, setting down Babette. Jack, Gus, perhaps you can give Babette a tour of the castle, Cinderella suggested. Jack and Gus agreed and immediately began showing Babette all of their favorite places in the castle. This is the library, Jack said. Lots of books, Gus said, pointing. Babette looked around but didn't say a word. Then Jack and Gus took Babette to the grand ballroom. You have a ballroom? Jack asked, trying to start a conversation. Babette nodded and that was all. Jack and Gus took Babette all over the castle. 
hoping to find something that she would be interested in. But no matter where they went, Babette just nodded or stayed silent. That evening, Cinderella asked Jack and Gus how their day with Babette had been. She's a snob, Jack told Cinderella. Man stuck up, Gus agreed. Now, now, Cinderella said gently, you hardly know her. Give her a chance. As Cinderella set the pair of mice down on the ground, she noticed something was missing. My bracelet, she gasped. It must have fallen off during Gabrielle's tour. We can find it, Cinderella, Jack said. Oh, thank you for offering, Cinderella said. But we went all over the castle. The bracelet could be anywhere. No problem for Jack and Gus Gus, Jack said proudly. Follow us, Cinderella. They went to ask Gabrielle how about the last time she remembered seeing the bracelet. Oh dear, I'm afraid I was so busy admiring the castle that I wasn't paying much attention to Cinderella's bracelet, Gabrielle said. I can help you look, a soft voice said. It was Babette stepping out from her little house. Jack and Gus looked suspiciously at Babette, but Cinderella spoke up for her. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Babette. Jack reluctantly agreed. We checked the mouse size places and Cinderella checked the princess size places. The three mice scurried from the room to room. They looked behind curtains, on top of cabinets, and even in the tea room. Gus checked inside the entire tea set. Gus, Gus, Cinderella's bracelet isn't in a teapot, Jack laughed. Gus looked embarrassed, but Babette's, Babette spoke up quietly. It never hurts to check. The mice continued searching the tea room until Babette let out a squeal of joy. Jack, Gus, look, she cried. Babette had found Cinderella's bracelet stuck between two chair cushions. Hooray, Gus and Jack cheered. The pair of mice hopped down to help Babette free the heavy bracelet from between the cushions. You can tell Cinderella you found it, Gus said. Oh, I couldn't, Babette said, blushing. Suddenly, Jack and Gus understood why Babette had been so quiet. Babette wasn't a snob. She was just shy. That's okay to be shy. Be brave, Gus said, patting her on the shoulder. Cinderella is the nicest princess ever, Jack said. You can talk to her. The mice found Cinderella looking through her bedroom. Jack and Gus gently pushed Babette forward with the bracelet. Oh, you little dear, Cinderella cried. Did you find my bracelet? Babette blushed and nodded. Thank you, Cinderella said. Babette saw that she was surrounded by kind friends. She gathered all her courage, looked Cinderella in the eye and said, you're welcome, princess. Now that the bracelet had been found, the three mice decided to play together. Gus had a wonderful idea. He grabbed Babette's paw. Hide and seek, he squeaked. The three friends ran off together. They spent the rest of the day playing in the many castle rooms they had explored earlier. But their fun couldn't last forever. When it was time for Gabrielle to go home, Jack and Gus were very sorry to say goodbye to their new friend. Come back soon, Gus said. Babette waved. I'll miss you, she said. Cinderella, Jack, and Gus walked outside to see the carriage off. When Gabrielle and Babette were out of sight, Jack turned to Cinderella. Babette, he said, she's so much fun. The best, Gus chimed in. Oh, really? Cinderella asked with a smile. She's not snuck up or a snob? We're sorry, Cinderella, Jack said. That's all right, Jack, Cinderella replied. I'm sure you'll be more patient with new friends in the future. Gus nodded. Well, Jack exclaimed, we sure will. Cinderella is one of my favorites, and this theme is amazing because storybooks are the best thing ever. So look 
for any of your storybooks and read throughout the week. So a couple songs this morning. I'm going to wear my tiara for storybook week. Um, we're going to start with I'm a Little Teapot. So if you want to sing at home, if you want to get your brothers, your sisters, anyone, get them up singing this morning, I'm going to start and follow along with me however you would like to do it. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a very special pot, this is true. Here is an example of what I can do. I can change my handle and my spout. Tip me over and pour me out. We'll do it another time if anyone missed it or wants to join in again. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a very special pot, this is true. Here is an example of what I can do. I can change my handle and my spout. Tip me over and pour me out. The next one is if you're happy and you know it. So I'm gonna stand up. So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. Those were our little songs for the day to get you moving again. Um, next, we're gonna do our activity. And I have paper, and I have crayons, and markers, and colored pencils. So take a minute, grab the supplies. And for storybook week, we are going to make our own treasure map. Your treasure map can lead anywhere. It can lead nowhere, wherever you would like. I'm going to lead mine to Captain Hook's ship for storybook week. I found if you like tear it, it can make it a little distressed, like it old, like an old map. If you take a little, or if you have those cool scissors, but it makes it look a little distressed and like it's been used. So you wanna give it a little texture. If not, draw. So I'm going to start with a marker. And I'm going to start and draw my starting spot. And I'm going to make a road. And maybe we'll stop over here. And I'm going to put that. This is Cinderella's castle. That's not Captain Hook's ship. But it's on our way. So first stop, Cinderella's castle. Well, I guess we have to do some more searching to find our treasure and to find Captain Hook's ship. Here we go. Oh no. We've now ran into Peter Pan's home. I think we're getting closer.
So I did Peter Pan's Pond. All right, let's see where our next clue and stop should be. We definitely need some food on this journey. So I'm going to put in a restaurant where you can get pizza and chicken fingers. Oh yeah. And since we're in a pool, we can sit outside and eat with our family. So here I have my family and we're taking a break on our treasure map and our trail to find some good food. You can go into more detail, you can just use words on a treasure map. The goal, we're trying to find our treasure and we set that as Captain Hook's ship, but you can set that as ice cream, you can set that as anything you would like for your very awesome treasure map. So now we're gonna... Oh no, I think we've hit some mud. So we don't really want to stop here. We're stuck in the mud. What do we do? Well, ahead, I see something that resembles Captain Hook ship. So I know we're close. Once we're out of the mud, Captain Hook ship, and look who is walking the plank. Peter Pan must not be near his pond. He must not have gotten stuck in the mud. So we found the ship, and we can save Peter Pan. So, if I were to do it another, I would probably be on a search and a map for ice cream. So here's your treasure map, and an activity that you can do with your friends, your family, you don't have to just draw it. You can use stickers. You can use sticks. You can use objects that you have laying around in your house and make an interactive one on the floor. This is just an example of one you can do with paper and markers and crayons. So to end this morning, rise and shine, I want you to repeat after me, and we're going to say it a couple times. Are you ready? I am an amazing person. Today I will be a leader. I will be a good listener. I will make the right choices. I will be the best me I can be. I will choose to have a good attitude. Today is going to be a great day. We'll do it one or two more times. Repeat after me. I am an amazing person. Today, I will be a leader. I will be a good listener. I will make the right choices. I will be the best me I can be. I will choose to have a good attitude. Today is going to be a great day. One more, let's do it one more time and start off this week, our storybook themed week. I am an amazing person. Today, I will be a leader. I will be a good listener. I will make the right choices. I will be the best me I can be. I will choose to have a good attitude. Today is going to be a great day.
I'm excited to see all the fun things that this week has in store for Storybook Week. Don't forget to check out our website at getyourplayonline.com, our Instagram page, YouTube channel. Don't forget that the activity packets are available on Etsy to purchase. Be looking out for that Facebook giveaway ent entry on Friday. And have the best week. Bye.